Welcome to a new episode of Brent's Favorite Bevs. This is episode number three, and I am going to do the iced shaken matcha. The shaken iced matcha. So first off, you use a mason jar, and I got a little grate for uh, making the matcha nice and fine. And my favorite brands are the Rishi, the Mighty Leaf, and Adagio. Uh, right now I'm rocking the Mighty Leaf. It's probably the cheapest option out of them, but it's a good option. But you've got to use the, the gr like this grid thing or uh, grater because there's always like bigger pieces in it and, and you get that grittiness in your drink if you don't do it. So I do two heaping scoops of the matcha. And then, yeah, check out the color on that though. Yeah. Then I do about, what does this cup say? I do about four ounces of water. Four ounces of hot water. So, if you don't use hot water, it does not release the caffeine, so. My biggest beef with Starbucks and Pete's and stuff is you'll order an iced matcha, but they'll just put cold water in and put ice in and then shake it. But you don't get the caffeine then because it literally does not release the caffeine unless if it's heated to a certain temperature. And that's the same reason why lighter roasted coffee beans have more caffeine because you roast it off less of the caffeine. The heat releases caffeine in uh, a lot of these products. Anyways. I also have, gosh, I don't even know what brand it is, but type in like electric whisk. See that? USB rechargeable. And uh, then also, I like to use a lactose free half and half. I just feel like it's easier on your stomach. One sec, let me grab this. So I put a dash of that inside. Oh yeah, see it gets it nice and frothy. Matcha is usually pretty frothy on its own, but just that little bit of cream is like a game changer. And good. And then, just a heap full of uh, crushed ice. Actually, I'll probably go a little more. You, you wanna just fill it up. Yeah, dude. So it should look about like that. You put the top on the mason jar. Make sure you get a mason jar with the top. And then... Probably could have blended a little better. Got a little residue on the bottom, but it's still going to be delicious. And then we got a shaken iced matcha. Ooh, with caffeine. It's legitimately heavenly. You can always add a pinch of honey in the first uh, heating stage and then still shake it. And, you know, sugar works too at that point. But yeah, don't try to add sugar after because it won't dissolve. Anywho, thank you so much for watching this episode of Brent's Favorite Best. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try one of these yourself. But yeah, most importantly, make sure you get yourself one of these if you're going to do matcha. It makes a huge difference. And uh, the electric whisker, and they have bamboo whiskers, but that's just a pain in the butt, and it doesn't work as good. Yeah. Have a good week. Later.